Hey, good morning, everybody. Um, another update. Uh, one of the things that we've been working diligently on is uh, mainly the uh, rear diffuser. So we've been putting on a, a bunch of layers of carbon fiber and then epoxy. So I'll give you a preview of that. Um, other than that, we've just been cooking along. I'm getting ready to put the windshield in. Uh, I haven't cut it yet, so uh, we'll probably do that in the next update. Anyway, we're rushing to try to make the rock and roll car show, which is tentatively set for the 16th of August. Uh, so hopefully we'll make that. Um, but anyway, let's take a look. So here's the new diffuser. Um, we're getting ready to... Uh, we just put a, another coat on, we'll flat that down, and then we'll put the um, probably two more coats of uh, epoxy on it. But uh, it's looking pretty good. Um, it's a lot better than the old one, which we can see back here. <clears throat> which, basically, if I rotate this, you can see um, it does have a lot of uh, imperfections in it um, and not only that it weighs a significant amount I think it's like a hundred pounds um, just because of all the epoxy that got into the um, infill on the 3d print uh, so not only did it warp the part but it also uh, caused uh, issues with uh, the weight because now I've got all that epoxy in there and uh, it's kilos of epoxy. So anyway, uh, that one will be uh, probably thrown in the garbage bin. Um, this one was uh, printed in uh, ASA. And so it should have much higher uh, tolerance to temperatures, uh, which is going to be important for the exhaust. But we're going to shield that uh, very well. We're going to use some DEI uh tape for that and then we're also going to build a uh steel and aluminum surround so that uh, we don't get any problems there anyway cross your fingers again this is all an experiment <laughs> um <coughs> we haven't worked on the front uh uh part here we're probably going to keep that design <coughs> the one addition that people did suggest which i i really like is to put a flat piece <clears throat> so we're going to put a flat aluminum piece uh, underneath that again all of the air will be ducted up uh, through the ducts in the hood um, I got the uh, uh, headlights mounted so they're mounted in there you see some green tape that was just to protect them so we'll be taking those out and uh, doing the electrical work on them pretty soon again we're going to be replacing the windshield I got a replacement over here and this will be, we'll be getting ready to cut this. You can see the lines that are marked on there right now. And that's all we're going to do. We're going to cut the sides. We're going to finish it off with a little uh, uh, wet sanding. And then we're going to go ahead and mount it into the surround on the car. So what's left to do? Well, we got to do all these panels. Um, so we've got to... <clears throat> Put a final skin. I've got to finish the bodywork, which is very close. As you can see, the uh, shot lines on the bodywork is pretty good. Um, and uh, then we'll start uh, laying fabric uh, on the rest of the body. Uh, <clears throat> we'll continue with the steel work. Um, I've got quite a bit left there to do. And then that's all going to get uh, painted black. So, But we'll have that carbon fiber look, I think, for quite a while. And uh, it'll be pretty nice. So anyway, uh, thanks again for watching um, this short uh, video. And uh, hopefully we'll see you guys uh, at the show and look for an update next, next week. Take care. Bye.